This classic demonstration is like a ritual for physics teachers. Your career isn't complete without it. Can you guess which, am I, which demonstration I'm talking about? Yes, rotating the bucket with water. Here goes nothing. I usually ask three clarifying questions. One, why doesn't the water fall down at the topmost point? Sure, people talk about centripetal and centrifugal forces, but I ask to go beyond these words and explain what's really going on. Second, why should there be a minimum speed? We intuitively understand that there is a minimum speed with which you have to do it, otherwise the water will just fall. But why does this minimum speed exist? And third, calculating what this minimum speed is. Ah, it's just so much fun and rigorous at the same time. Physics works and uh, this room is not wet. Uh.